What's up guys, GSMSE here and welcome to another hybrid squad builder and this one is going to include a lot of informs compared to what I usually do uh, so there is going to be a couple from this week's team of the week I believe and um, yeah I, was I quite enjoyed playing with it uh, but as always if you're looking to buy some more team coins go check out FIFAcoinsline.com, a link to it will be in the description below and uh, so yeah it's going to be 4-5-1, uh, this formation is kind of, it's not deteriorating, it's like uh, usefulness for me but I'm not using it as much at all because I'm not enjoying it as much as I used to. Uh, three five two at the moment for me is the way to go. Uh, so starting off the very first informers we had in the goal. So we're going to have inform Rui Patricio. Um, a place for sport in Lisbon. Uh, and overall he's a decent goalkeeper but he does parry a lot of things. Um, he costs me 25,000 coins. But this is, I don't know why, but a lot of the Liga Portuguese are um, informs. Uh, currently being a uh, like not price fixed, but they've uh, risen in price a fair bit. I'm not sure if it's because of inform lab yet. Uh, I have no idea really, but they are getting a lot of informs in that league, so it could possibly be one of the factors. Uh, first up, then we're going to have is an 85 rate player, Pepe, and uh, I've used him in a, a few squads, not many. Whoa, his name is huge, Kepler Lavaran Lima Pereira. Jesus, but yeah, um, he's the best Portuguese centre back in my opinion. 8,800 coins, so he's one of the players that's uh, not really been affected too much by the team of the year. Because uh, his price hasn't gone up after they've been out of packs. Uh, be 6 with 2, 74 pace, 84 defending and 82 heading as well. Uh, so them, them combo quite well. And uh, overall he links up decently this player I'd say. Uh, not the greatest but it's Bruno Alves. Um, he's in my opinion the second best Portuguese defender. Uh, last year he was an absolute god. Uh, first few games of him I thought exactly the same. He's very very good in the end. Never, like 81 defending and 79 heading aren't too bad. Uh, he's 6 with 2 but... Like last year, I think he had like 74 pace or something, which is outstanding. And uh, this guy's got a great long shot in, to be fair. Because um, I, I remember last year, I had a fucking. I don't know, I don't know a series around this guy, a striker. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, he, he's a decent defender. Um, but you could potentially swap him out with the silver guy that's got 70 pace uh, if you like a little bit more stability in the defence. Uh, right back, we're going to have another inform. And I packed him in my 100k packs. So I was like, why not use this fucker? Uh, it's Adelaide Conco. Um, he's not much different to his normal card. He's around 12,000 coins, I believe. Uh, but overall, he's 5 foot 9, so he's pretty short. But he's got very, very good defend on him. 80 defending, 87 pace, 81 passing, 80 dribbling, and 72 heading as well. Uh, quite a good combination, to be fair. And uh, he does a job at right back. And finish off defence, we're going to have Jordi Alba. There he is. Um, I could have got his inform, but I was I don't know why I didn't actually. But uh, his normal was just as good for me. 90 pace, 78 defending as well. Uh, he's also got a decent shot on him. I scored a pretty nice goal of him. 16,000 coins, so you could get any um, any Spanish left back in this team, I believe. Uh, left mid, then go to the midfield. We're going to have a converted player, Diego Capel. And uh, he plays a sport in Lisbon. And overall, he's pretty decent. Not not getting any goals, to be fair. Uh, but he's got good pace in him. You could go with uh, the guy on the bench, which is uh, Nolito. And he gets exactly the same chemistry. And he's got 84 pace, but he's got a little bit more, uh, a little bit less pace, sorry. But he's got more shooting, I believe. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot more shooting. Uh, but yeah, Capel, he does a job at left mid by getting the assists. Um, he does cost around, in left mid, I'd say about 2,500 coins. Uh, but again, I, I am the first owner of him. Um, the next in, oh, actually, I'm going to go over this side first. The next info we're going to have is going to be inform James Rodriguez. And uh, this guy's 84 rated and he's very, very hyped up really. Uh, because he's from Colombia, it's quite a popular nation um, on this game because they've got Falcao and such uh, like that. Uh, but very good player, decent long shot on him. Um, actually, no, very good long shot on him. Uh, cost me 49,000 coins, so that, that's one of the differences between the inform um, like before and after this week's Team of the Week. Uh, so I'd probably say about 40k is the average price for him, uh, but this week in particular he'll be a bit more. But he's got 81 pace, 86 dribbling. 82 shooting and 85 passing. So he's got perfect stats for a cam. And he's uh, left footed with 3 star weak foot and 4 star skills as well. Um, and the other cam is going to be another inform. And that you probably swear is going to be Labia. This week's team of the week player. Uh, very, very agile. But unfortunately for me, he only had one good game really. The rest of them, he didn't really get involved. Um, but I did struggle to be fair with his team in a 4 5 1 formation. 3 5 2 potentially could be better for a hybrid around him. But yeah, he, nevertheless, he's got 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. Cost me 30,000 coins, so he's probably a lot less than that now. Uh, but he's got really good pace, 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 76 shooting, and 71 passing as well. Uh, so them two work as really good cams. And uh, at right mid, we're going to have a pacey Mother Beach, and that is going to be Bia Biani. 96 pace on him, and he gives a 9 chemistry out of uh, Conco. Uh, both same league and same nation. Uh, all he can really do is run. Like He's just not got much else about him. Uh, but I did score a goal where you do just run and you parry it in the net. Uh, but Bia Biani is a decent player just to, just just for the pace. And the final inform this team is going to be an 85 rated. And that is Joe Martinho. Um, 
Honestly, not much different compared to his normal card, but it costs 35,000 coins, which is a fair bit. Uh, Four-star weak, uh, weak foot, three-star skill moves. Um, defensively, he's pretty solid, but his normal will do just the same job, in my opinion. And uh, finally, finish off this team, we're going to have another Porto player, and that is going to be Jackson Martinez. Unfortunately, he hasn't got the pace he did last year, but he's still got 83. Uh, he's got four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Um, for 600 coins, this guy can finish really well. And uh, to be fair to him, if, if only he was a raid, it made it look a little bit better. Same with Bruno Alves. But uh, he does a job up front. And um, yeah, I th you can have any, uh, what's it called? Any player from the Liga Portuguese at striker. So uh, you can have Cardoza. I'm sorry, guys. You may have just noticed I edited that bit out. But uh, someone came in shouting and um, they kind of ruined the commentary. But uh, unfortunately for that, uh, that has been the end of the episode, guys. But um, like again, I apologize for uh, having to cut this bit out. Uh, but yeah, that, that is the team. And uh, you can have any League of Portuguese striker in there at all. So that's been the video, guys. If you could drop a like, that'd be awesome. If you could reach 500 likes, that'd be great. Uh, if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. And I uh, will see you guys next time. Okay,